Welcome back to the channel everyone, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the price action of Theta, as Theta's made some moves since the last time I released a video, and has even hit some of my areas of interest to the upside. So in this video, I'll show you some areas that I'm paying attention to, and where I think Theta could be heading next. So let's get into the video. And here we have Theta up on the daily chart in trading view. And on my last analysis, I did have a bullish bias. I was looking for Theta to make its way to the upside. And as many of you know that have been following along, I was rattling on about the zero spot 382 of the Fibonacci retracement. And as you can see, price action got right up in there, put in a couple wicks up above it, and then a pretty pretty good rejection to the downside. But no major damage done after that move based on what I'm seeing here, as volatile as it is. And there's a reason why these levels get respected the way they do. It's not super complicated. It's that a lot of professionals We'll watch these major fib levels especially on a macro time frame and as you can see i've pulled this fib on a macro and a lot of professional traders institutions and and investors will will watch these levels and well they they often get respected i mean we saw it back here acting as resistance i consider this a test as well i mean this is t8 not a crystal ball you know when something gets up nice and close like that often i'll give it a, a mulligan i'll say you know what that was pretty much a test right there and of course we saw some hesitation here before you know theta blew its lid on that last swing there but these are very important levels and I watch them for, for a reason, as price action can certainly interact with these levels in this way right here. And uh, as we see, no candle bodies closed up above it, got the wicks and a pullback to the downside. But at the end of the day, data has really come down and hit, hit a level of support. I mean, if we go off that red candle wick like this, we can see where, uh, where Theta pulled into was certainly resistance right here, was certainly resistance here. It was resistance all along here. And if you're looking for that SR flip, so the, the, the form of resistance becoming future support, it's exactly what you'd want to see. And, and right now, Theta is hitting that and it's pushing off that level, by the way, which is coming in at $6.99. So my bullish bias uh, still, still remains completely intact at this point in time. And, uh, you know, the bottom is likely in for this. I mean, I, I am ultimately looking for a higher high on the macro uh, time frames, but like I was saying in the last couple of videos, you know, I do think that the uh, that the bottom is in for theta. Now, on this little dump right here, this was alongside the rest of the market, I believe, putting in that bit of a bear trap. And uh, you can see this wick came in. It, uh, it tagged this level down here at $5.69. And you know, when we look left on that level, we can actually see that it was support here. It was support there as well as here, and even a little bit of resistance here. And look at this, if you go all the way back here, you'll see it serving as a uh, as support once price action got up above that. So I think it's perfectly fair to uh, put that level on our charts at $5.69 as a another level of support to the downside. So areas that I think are gonna play defense if Theta wants to have any pullbacks, I mean, the market conditions are looking pretty good. So long as everything else keeps moving to the upside, Ethereum breaking to all time highs, you know, Bitcoin getting ready to make some more moves. Uh, I see no reason why a good project like Theta wouldn't eventually join the party. I mean, great partnerships, a lot of fundamental things going on here with Theta. Uh, I've been following this thing for a long time through the last up cycle and even through the down cycle. But uh, I don't see any real reason why Theta is just going to fall off a cliff and not eventually join the party. In fact, now is probably a pretty good time to be paying attention to this. Let's go ahead and check the momentum oscillators down below. We see RSI not really giving us a heck of a lot. You know, we saw it uh, test the bullish control zone. And typically when I see the RSI on an asset get into the bearish control zone like it did here, normally I'll look for a rejection on, on first attempt getting back getting back into the bullish control zone. So as far as I'm concerned, that is pretty normal behavior uh, with the RSI here. And now it looks like it wants to try a little test of the EMA, which has a positive slope. No actionable signals here, but um, worth paying attention to, to see, you know, just to see where the strength is at in this overall move. Things are looking pretty neutral on the RSI. Neutral to good, I'd say. We see stochastics down below, fresh cross the upside, getting back into the bullish control zone. So that, that's all right. And we are seeing volatility begin to expand. We see volatility uh, lifting off, getting above the uh, the EMA here and now that moving average is looking to try to tick back to the upside and volatility isn't going to give us direction uh, we look for price action to give us the direction and then we look for volatility to support it but when volatility gets down to these low reads like anything below a 10 really uh, we saw it get as low as a 3.8 is basically letting us know that the gas tank is full so the next major monumental move that comes into the into the uh, the asset is is likely going to be a good one it's quite likely going to be sustained and when we see that uh, coming in on a time frame like a daily you know the higher the time frame the more powerful this is going to be and as of right now what we're seeing is we're seeing price action well check it out i mean we have this low back here 
and then we went and stuck in this uh, this high rate here. So that's speaking to the macro. So what we're looking for here is now we're looking for well we got the we got a higher low here. So now we're looking for for a higher high to get up above here, and then we'll have the the uh, the etchings of a of a trend reversal. And as a matter of fact, if we come out into a weekly chart here, we'll see that that would be speaking to the weekly itself. And uh, the weekly here is a much more powerful chart than a, than the daily chart. So, you know, we get we get up into this level here, close above these candle bodies. We we have well, I would say it's very much a bottom at that point in time. So I'm just gonna back out of this. I'm working with a uh, an old mouse here again today. I'm not sure if any of you remember me complaining about my old mouse, but I've shuffled some computers around at my place, so now I'm suffering with this crappy aftermarket mouse here so I'm gonna have to get on the old Amazon Prime and get myself a new one so anyway going forward here what we're looking for is um well I'm looking for a break of the zero spot 382 here I want to see some candle bodies begin to close above that level around eight dollars and 24 cents we start seeing price action get up above that and hold that level then there's no reason why we won't see price action ultimately come up and likely test that not 0.5 now as you can see that's the last nasty nasty zone that we saw pretty bad uh, bearish engulfing candle come off of there I'm not expecting that we could see this kind of behavior here if price action gets up there as long as the market conditions remain that the way that they are but that's the next major level I want to see get taken out but of course level by level get this thing out of my way level by level first so zero spot 382 then I'll look up to the not 0.5 and then for uh, areas to the downside to play defense I'm gonna be watching six dollars 99 cents and of course we'll watch this level right here gotta stick with horizontal back on five dollars and 67 cents and then down below that we have four dollars and 66 cents I don't think that's what's going on here, but those will be the three levels that are worth paying attention to the downside. Anyways, hope you're all doing well out there. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.